in a groundbreaking fusion of technology and environmental responsibility, a team of tech enthusiasts known as BROLO has introduced Freesia, a acronym for four-legged robot ensuring intelligence sprinkler automation. The remarkable robotic dog equipped with artificial intelligence autonomously tends to plants by activating an onboard sprinkler system. The project led by David Macario and his team represents a significant leap in robotics, AI, and ecological interaction. When are you going to be able to get your hands on your very own garden watering robot dog? Well... I have a feeling it's going to be a while. This is a one-off project, but how far in the future? Well, we can only wait and see. And finally, happening in this week's What the? Free Radical Design. The company tasked with making a Time Splitters reboot has closed its doors, according to employee statements acquired by Eurogamer. Additionally, the developer's official website now redirects to a 404 error, along with text reading company not found and a sad face. Ex-staffers have also taken to social media to announce the closure. The company was reformed back in 2021 specifically to develop new games based on the long-defunct Time Splitters franchise. However, parent company Embracer Group has been on a cost-cutting spree these past few months. In fact, reducing its overall headcount by more than 900 people. At that time, it was noted that Free Radical Design was likely in trouble putting the Time Splitters reboot in limits. Limbo, Embracer CEO Lars Wingfors has addressed the closure in an email to staffers expressing gratitude for the remarkable work that the team has done. Wingfors went on to say that the parent company looks to support laid-off employees as much as we can during this transition. There are no details, however, regarding severance pay or anything like that. It looks like more than 50 people lost their jobs due to the closure, which is a monumental bummer. Another bummer is that this likely means the death of the Time Splitters franchise for the time being, at least, though maybe another company will snap up the IP at some point. The original incarnation of Free Radical went bankrupt back in 2008 before being temporarily revived to handle the reboot. This isn't the only company that Embracer sent packing this year either. It abruptly closed Saints Row developer Volition back in August and is reportedly looking to sell Borderlands developer Gearbox as well. Embracer previously acquired Gearbox for around around $363 million as part of a larger deal valued at $1.4 billion. Thanks for watching your weekly tech update. If you have a story you think we need to feature on the program, shoot me an email, djraymcneil at gmail.com. Find us on Facebook at your weekly tech update and check out the podcast, audio and video versions available on Google, iTunes, Audio Burst, and elsewhere on the interwebs. Till next time, I'm Ray McNeil. Stay safe and stay healthy, everyone. And now, here's your moment of joy. Everything looks funnier if animals had arms. Real animals do crazy things, thanks to these doodle animations.
your weekly tech update brought to you by Holiday Home Care, Phillip Island, Victoria, Australia. It's your turn to relax. Before you get on holiday on the island, contact Holiday Home Care. We can set up your residence or holiday rental, do the shopping for you, provide linen and towels, and make sure it's all ready by the time you get here, giving you more time to enjoy what Phillip Island has to offer. For more information, visit HolidayHomeCarePI.com or email HolidayHomeCarePI at gmail.com. 